hi guys welcome back this is an updated video and i mentioned why updated i'll let you guys know soon so today we are going to see how you can root your device android device running android nougat 7.1.1 so as you can see this is uh, nexus 6p running the nougat 7.1.1 and this is the pixel xl which is running the same official android nougat 7.1.1 so i won't be showing you here for the pixel because for the pixel exclusive only there is a separate set of method and file so i am not rooting here right now so i will put that video and links description so that you can check that out so we will taking here for official android nuka 7.1 if any of the devices are running that one so this method is going to work and why i did say it's an updated video because the same i have shown you when the device was running android 7.0 so basic steps will remain the same so i will have the link in the video description so make sure to check that out because each time it's not possible to you know lock your om lock and om unlocked so i'm just uh, summarizing steps here again so in case you have never rooted your device so you need to first do a om unlocking of your phone first you need to activate this uh, developer option so you can go inside this uh, system about phone and tap the build number six to seven times so it will show you as a developer option enabled so once you get inside the developer option you can see here this is developer option so you need to uh, check the section here turn that on and go inside and turn on usb debugging and along with that you need to turn on this om unlocking so it says here bootloader is only unlocked so in my previous video i have shown you the detailed step how you can unlock the uh, bootloader and everything so necessary steps make sure to watch that there so in case you uh, you have already om unlocked so this video might guide you so already i have done the routing when it was in the beta 1 and beta or you can say the 7.1.1 uh, and the 7.1.0 so i'm going to use the same file and we need to configure your computer as you can see here i have just installed and read a studio inside this default directory so it should come here you you see directory user application data local android sdk platforms in case you don't have that you can install the minimal adb in the fast boot it is version 1.43 i guess i'll put the link that should work but i will always recommend to go with the android studio and later because that will have latest bug fixes and commands so once you have done make sure you turn on the usb digging after connecting here you should select that as a file transfer mode and once this uh, cable is connected as you can see inside this computer just type the command adb devices just to make sure everything is working perfectly so you can see we are seeing this uh, uh, device with device id now it is time to go back to the bootloader and yes before that you need to download this 12 version so the one i am going to use is uh, you can see here 12-3.02-2 uh, angular because the same was working for the android 7.1.1 beta when it was in the beta version so i'm going to use the same and you need to use the super gcu version uh, 2.78 sr5 because that is actually uh have some fixes for the android nougat so i will recommend you to use that all right so with that let's go here and you can see so you need to first go inside the bootloader you can either use adb command and you can either use power of your device turn on press this uh, power button and the volume up then you can get the bootloader so i'm going to use the adb method the command will be adb reboot bootloader so you can see my phone is going inside the bootloader now there here i will use the command to uh, flash the recovery since there is no uh here right now this is official stock recovery so the command will be fast boot flash recovery then the exact file name that was here it should be 12.5.1.3.2 so here's the uh, for this is the one that we are going to take uh, fast boot flash recovery 12.5.1.3.2.2 so i have not yet installed that so i'm hoping that it should work so let's give it a try so hit enter stalling everything is done now uh, you need to again reboot to the recovery so let's check out whether it is working or not so use your volume key here as you can see this is recovery mode hit enter so it should go to the recovery mode you can see we got the twerp here that means twerp is stalled perfectly it is working now we will try to stall super su and see whether we are able to root and write nuga 7.1.1 so this is the one we start go inside this install and i have copied here inside this download one directory up this is the one i used earlier uh, super su 2.78 so i'm going to use the same just click here swipe to confirm flash so it is done now just clear wipe and cache reboot your system so 
so we got our device booted up and there should be some issues i have heard earlier when i rebooted my one plus three the sorry that rebooted my one plus three with the same uh, super sc 2.78 so i was not able to get my cellular network so the solution was that you need to install the sr5 version so that should work so here's the file and in here this is the one you need to install if i just click here so that file you have to use in case you're not uh, getting this uh, cellular network so but it is working perfectly now we'll check uh, with the super su uh, this uh, root checker basic whether root is installed properly or not so now it uh, asks for permission that's why it's happening so give it a permission grant so congratulations root access is properly installed on this device so there you have it guys a uh, way how you can root your android nougat 7.1.1 so i will put all the necessary steps on my blog post i'll put the link in the description so make sure to read that out and also the previous video in which i have shown you how you can om unlock how to reset after that then everything you have done all the links will be mentioned so in case did you have any trouble in routing so make sure to tweet me at the gi support and also uh, whenever you go to root your new device so check on xt forum just go inside the xtforums.com and type in your device model number and read the forum's threads you will get a lot of links yes it's always helpful and recommended place if you're doing anything extra with your android so i hope you guys find this video helpful this is sarah and i'll catch you guys in next video have a great day